We're back, baby. We are back in the city. I know you missed us. And we missed you guys. <laughs> I feel like that's the thing we say every time we come back. Even though we were never well, gone. Well, because, because it's true. Yeah, it's true. It's true. You guys did miss us and we missed you. What's going on, you know? How you been? What's going on? What have you been doing the last three weeks where technically we haven't recorded? Yeah, but, we haven't. But but episodes have been out. And and we're kind of recording uh, backwards this week. We recorded the Patreon before the main episode. Yeah, so this episode right here, this is last week's Wednesday. Episode. Yes, and, and then, then this Wednesday, you'll get a new episode. Correct. Okay? So what we're, we're going to do with this episode, we're going to go over Antwerp and Romania. Those are the first two places we've been. Yeah. This summer. I from mean, the this, trip, from, yeah. our, from our long trip that we just got back from. And then on Wednesday, we'll do Barcelona and Mallorca. CCC. I'm so excited. <laughs> no, me too. Um, um, and and I already did this on the previous episode, but I just want to give you another round of applause for the people that are on Patreon because you deserve a big thank you from me and from all the listeners because Yoni was on it, making sure that Patreon and the Wednesday's episodes thank you. still came out while we were on our trip. That was thank all you. So I just want people to know that. I appreciate it. You know, it's it's we we have this thing that we don't like to take, to take breaks, yeah. and I know at some point we probably should take an actual. I'm break. thinking we should take one like we in Christmas time, like New Year's an actual like break. Right, a lot of people, like most people, are off during the summer at some point yeah. and around the holidays. And since we didn't technically take one in the summer, I'm thinking maybe we take like. A full week or maybe two weeks. Ooh, oh my God. Two weeks not recording? Two weeks not recording and not posting. But that also means that two weeks, there's no like... No, I, I mean, I don't know. We'll if figure can... it out. We'll figure it out. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like it would just be nice to like have a break. That way also people can like actually miss us. And then they'll get excited for like... Because we need to have a break between season three and season four. Yeah, but not Christmas. No, like, we'll figure it out. Not right now. Uh, and then also, we still need to get to 150 episodes. I want to do that. That's like my goal for each year to get to... Because each episode, as you know, is is 50 episodes, right? Each season, each yeah. Each season. So, so season one be... was 50. Season two was 100. So we should reach that. No? We should reach 150. Because we cause haven't skipped anything this Right year. now, we're at 132. The only thing is that we started season three in February. Yes. So we're not going to, like post extra just to reach 50 whatever in the middle of like at the end of the I year mean, we could nah i ain't got time for that <laughs> that's gonna feel so like unbalanced it's gonna be no, so satisfying to yoni, listen yoni's obsessed with like these perfect time number things like he he wants to start working out on the first of every no month. one second one second or with season season four damn sounds crazy to say season four right yeah but season four needs to start with 151 Season four can start on like 147. Okay, so that means then that we'll take a break, what, in February? I don't know. I don't know. But each season, it will remain 50 episodes. That's just what, how it is. Okay, okay. Well, anyways, uh, welcome back to the What's the Juice podcast. My name is Ali Azaita. In case you forgot. And my, I'm here with my lovely host. Yes, my name is Yoni Koto, still your favorite host in the world. I do want to address one thing. My skin has better days. Had better days. Has had better has days. Has had better days. Your English is so complicated. I know. Like, why is it has had? Yeah. Um, I don't know what's going on. Yeah. It's not really, really bad, but it's also not the best. Like, it's been, it's been super clear before. I would honestly say the camera and the lighting actually makes it look worse yes than it looks in person also talking about it for as long as we already had makes it worse because <laughs> now people are just gonna like look at it you know i think it's something that you just gotta address i don't know like if i had some shit on my face i would just have to say yeah. like, if i had like a big you know pimple <laughs> right here at least at <laughs> least you know like as a white person if you have a pimple there's texture but there's also color at least for you it's just texture yeah that is for me true. it would be like if i have like something on my face it's also red i could see that for like a mile yeah yeah, yeah. but um, yeah let's yeah. um so let's get into our travel day okay? okay because we had a travel day yeah we did you know there's like regular travel days where it's like you know you're a little bit stressed because you gotta pack you and then you had ready the, and then you had the travel day that we had then, so yeah. before you go on any type of vacation you want to make sure your passport is intact you want to make sure you got all your documents yeah okay? that's like literally number one right 
my passport had to be renewed. Yes. So I'm like, okay, hit up the people. Hey, I need a new passport. Applied for it. Sent in all the documents paid to get for a new it. one. Yes, paid for it. I got up in the morning to take new photos mm-hmm. because that's the application that I applied for, right? Yeah. That's what you need to do to get a new passport. Mm-hmm. So About like a few, I think it was like about a month before our trip, you received the new passport. Yes, I received it. Yeah. Wait, what do you mean? No, like I'm saying, it's like you had it like well in advance. It wasn't very last year. Oh, no, 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 no. You had it like a month before our trip. You already had your new passport. But explain what this new passport was. This new passport, basically, well, I get get the new passport and it wasn't a new book. You know how you can get a whole new book, but then also a passport has multiple pages. So my new passport came on a different page on the same passport. So, so it was the same book. They just flipped the page and gave me like a new paper. There was no photo on it. So It was like a reprinted, you know how like your passport, everyone's first passport page is like your photo, your date of birth, where it was made, when it was made, when it expires, mm-hmm. where you live, what's yes. your nationality, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And then... His was the same passport that already expired, but then you flip that first page with all the information, and the next page is, the is new- a new sticked, stuck on sticker with all that information yes. with a new expiration date, mm-hmm. but no photo. No photo. And I sent the photo. So what they did was they sent me the photos back in an envelope. And I'm just like, what are you guys doing? I paid for this to be like, it's. It's. I'm sorry, but it's sketch to to get a passport and there's no photo on it. Basically, what happened is they extended the passport, so there was a yeah, passport wasn't... extension. It wasn't a passport renewal, even though what you applied for was a, was a renewal. Yes, and, and for the you... extension, you, extensions are free. Yeah, you you don't have to send in a photo, even though you did. Yes. And you don't have to pay. Those are the two things that are different in the, in those two applications. Yeah, except like... And that is your... not the application that I applied for. I paid and sent photos. So clearly, this is for a new passport. So anyways... But we're thinking like, oh, I guess this is just like what they do. You know, why would we do... Why would we regular ass people think there's anything wrong with that, Yes, right? question the people who do this shit for real, right? So fast forward to a month later, travel day. We have all of our documents in order. We get to the airport. We're driving to the airport. We're already late, okay? Because there was hella traffic. There was so much traffic. We live in Brooklyn. We had to go to all all the way to Newark, New Jersey. Yes. And that is way harder to get to than JFK. So we took us like over an hour it was to over get an to the hour. airport. It was a nice and expensive Uber ride, let me tell you. Yeah. And then on top of the fact that we were running late. We're getting closer to the airport. I'm watching it on the GPS, right? Because you know, like when you're sitting in the back of the Uber, you're just kind of watching the GPS, make sure we go in the right place, yeah. right? You can watch his GPS or you can watch your own GPS. Yeah, like I want to make sure that his GPS is on my GPS. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So we're looking at the GPS and then we're, we're like finally getting closer to the airport. I'm like, okay, cool. I think we're going to be on time. We're just on time, yeah. right? And, and I'm then, watching my GPS like we're supposed to take a certain exit, right? And then this guy. Doesn't take the right exit. He took the wrong turn, and I didn't notice it at first. You know, no, he when didn't I noticed take the it, turn, he had to. He just kept going straight. He was supposed to take a turn. Yes, and he didn't take. So the he turn. didn't exit. Basically, yeah. he kept going, and then he 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 hits his hand on on the steering wheel. I don't know if you saw that. Oh, I didn't see. But he that. was like, Oh, I didn't notice that at all. You didn't see that? No, I That's didn't. That's what gave I was it away just, for me. Oh, I was just looking at the GPS, and then I looked at you, and I was like, He's not going the right way. Yeah, I saw that he fucked up. Oh, you so know? then he had to like, and then he drove for like a while. But to he didn't see. say anything. He didn't say anything. Because he could hear us talking in the back. Like, Are we going to make it on time? So he knew we were like on, on a time pressure. Yeah. And that's the worst when you know the people sitting in the back, they need to, they're relying on you to to, to bring them, to, to get them to the airport on time. Yeah. Right? And also it's like, you know, go to the and airport, you, you want to be on time. And it's stressful. Yeah. And also too, like airports all of a sudden got like, hella exits <laughs> yeah so you gotta like I, so i don't blame him you know it's not easy getting to the airport yeah some people so don't even like going to the airport he or basically driving. had to he like still went a little while and then i'm pretty sure he like messed up again because like my gps showed again. rerouting where he was supposed to like turn and then he did and then he like almost or maybe he like almost didn't take i feel like i don't know something happened where i was like damn this guy's really gonna make us late 
but we didn't say anything. Yeah. So, so anyways. eventually we get to the airport, you know, um, we are now instead of usually I like to be at the airport for international travel, like where we are traveling internationally from the US, like somewhere far. It's like a long haul flight. I like to get there three hours before. Mm hmm. Um, but by that time we got there about two hours before, which it was still okay. Mm -hmm. But then, right, we're like, okay, checked in on my phone, but for some reason it didn't let me check in with like our passports because I had to like take photos of our passports and it wasn't working while we were in the car. So I was like, okay, we'll just figure it out when we get there, right? So we walk up to the little, um, you know, United little check-in desk thing there. We talk to this guy. We're like, okay, we're going to Belgium. We're going to Antwerp, flying into Brussels. Uh, you know, here's our documents, whatever. And he looks at Yoni's passport and everybody obviously opens a passport at the normal yeah, page. First, first page. Yeah, the first page. And he was looking at it, scanned something, whatever. And I thought to tell him because the passport, like that main page is expired. So I was like, oh, there's a, an extension, a passport extension on the next page. So then he flips it over and then he kind of gets a weird vibe. And you're like, oh, shit. Then he's kind of looking at it a little, little bit. He's like, I got to make a phone call. I'm like, oh, here we go. Did he make a phone call, right? He, he made a phone call, right? So there, actually, right? no, Vin, uh, first we were trying to to do the check-in thing to print our bag tags at the little kiosk that it's like self-serve that like you do it by yourself. And then he like was trying to help us and then he scanned your expired page. So that's when I told him it's an extended passport. So we'll need to scan the other page. Yeah. And then he's like, oh, let, let us, let me, let's go to like one of the actual desks. And yeah. then he calls someone and he talks on the phone for like, I don't know, five minutes. I don't know who he's talking to. We don't, we don't hear what he's saying for some, it's always like whenever they're on the phone, even though they're right in front of you, it's almost like you can't understand what they're saying. Yeah. Right? Like they're talking so quiet. Like that you don't you hear the conversation. I'm like watching you. It's as if you shouldn't know what they're talking about you. Yeah. So after that. He leaves. And he basically is like, oh, okay. uh, hold on one second. I need to uh, go show this passport to someone. I'm going to be right back, right? So he takes our passports and he starts walking. And we are trying to make it to the gate. Exactly. Like, this like, is like an hour before our flight. Now it's starting to get like an hour and a half. Yeah. He leaves. I swear to you, he doesn't come back for like 20 minutes. It was tw at least 20 minutes. He said, I'll be right back. People are checking in. People are dropping their bags. P shit is moving around us, and we're just there waiting. I'm we starting to get stressed out. I don't have his phone number. I can't text him. I can't like, say, where, yo, where you at? And, like, like, where did he go, you know? Yeah. Because he, like, left, and he took my passport, too. Yeah, he could have been gone for an hour, and we would have just was, been there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But it wasn't an hour. He comes back, finally, from a distance. We we start seeing him just walking. And then... And he's holding... So and then some ladies start talking to him, asking him a question. He's talking oh, to her yeah. for a little bit. I'm like, oh, my God, we're about to miss this flight. At this point, it's 30 minutes until boarding starts. Yeah. Boarding. Yeah. Okay. And we had to go through security. And, you know, that's always a line. Yeah, exactly. We still had to, like, drop off our bags. And uh, as he's, like, coming closer, we see he's holding a paper. We're like, oh, my God, okay. I'm getting, I'm getting like so stressed out at this point, right? Because also this is like a long ass flight. It's like a cute little two hour, three hour flight. Oh no, yeah. So he comes back and he basically tells us what. He shows us the paper and then he says, "You cannot, you cannot land in Belgium with an extension. Belgium is the only country that doesn't accept extensions. You can fly into anywhere else." but not Belgium. So would you like to land somewhere else? Would you like to fly? To, would you like to take another flight to somewhere else? He first asked us <laughs> like, if there's any way we can, if we have to go to Belgium. I think that was like, do you have to go to Belgium or are you like traveling What do you mean do you else? have to go? This is where this is where we booked. So yes, we have to. <laughs> I know, but he, I don't know. Because then we, because I remember us saying like, this is where his family is. Like, this is not like a fun little trip. You know, yeah. it's like we have to go there. And then also too, like what kind of question is that? I booked a flight. So we spend money on this flight. What do you mean do we have to go there? Otherwise, if we didn't, we would have went somewhere else. <laughs> right? So anyway, so then we're like, yeah, this is the this is the only place I usually fly into first when and I go to Europe. To he visit basically my said Belgium is he they, he called the Belgian consulate mm -hmm. and asked them to confirm, and they said that Belgium is literally the only country 
that does not accept passports that have extensions. extensions. We're like, how is this <sighs> possible that out of all the places that we're trying to go to, it's the one place that doesn't accept that? So we're it's like, the one place that actually like need to go to and care to go to and have to go to. Exactly. And uh, we were just, I at this point, I had like tears in oh, my eyes. At this point, Alia, she's crying. She's like, this, okay, I'm not but, crying. Okay, but what I mean is like, you're crying, you have tears in your eyes, but it's not of, it's it's just like a, a like frustration. a disbelief. Like, this it's, is, like a, it's like a very frustrated yeah. kind of angry cry. And so, I'm like, okay, well, like, how are we supposed to know? Like, like, why is this even an, a thing to like have a passport that is extended versus having a new passport if there's countries that don't accept it? And he's and, like, well, and, Belgium's the only country. I'm like, well, this is where we have to go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And all of this, this is this is not my fault. I apply. Oh, so, not. so they did. They made the mistake. The people who took care of my passport, it was their mistake that we now have to go to pay for. So now he's like, well. Well, let me look around a little bit. And he's looking at his computer for well, like no, two minutes. Well, no, what I said is I was like, okay, well, can we change our flight to fly into somewhere else? Oh, I thought he offered that. Or maybe I think he said like... You can fly into Paris. No, 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 no. He said, do you want to fly somewhere else? And then I said, yeah, is there any way we can fly into Paris? Because that's the closest I guess flight. Amsterdam was kind of closer. But I don't know if there's like a direct flight. There is definitely, but I don't know. We said Paris because I just thought of that. And then he was like, let me check the whatever. And our flight was at seven and there was a flight or no, our flight was at nine. And there was a flight that was at 915 for Paris. And thankfully, there were two available seats. There was more talking, than two. We're talking PM. Yeah, we're talking this PM. This yeah. is nighttime. Yeah. And uh, he was like, I can. So he basically like switched our flight at this time. It's like 10 minutes before our first, our original flight is boarding. So we're like, you know, fuck, I can't like, we couldn't really believe it, you know, because like you're already having to travel. We already bare, barely made it on time to the airport exactly. after like when we got to the airport, I was like, oh, fuck, we're like, we're good. Everything's going to go fine. And, and you're then- also thinking like, I planned this trip. I'm flying into a city where I know how I'm going to get to the place where I'm going to stay and sleep. Someone's going to pick us up or whatever. Like, you know, everything is planned. So now... Now we have to fly into a city where we ain't got shit figured out. We don't even know how... Okay, so we're flying into Paris and we came to that understand, all right, you know what? This is what it is now. Yeah, thankfully, we actually got some money back when they like change our flights we got some money back which was nice we got a nice little three hundred dollars that was like at least something you know right and now we're going through security got to our gate i guess we're going to paris i'm sending my my dad the message i'm like hey don't worry about coming to the airport at this time it was still really busy around us at that time so i was like i'll explain later and i think he was sleeping at that time yeah it was nice because it was like 3 a.m. over there, right? Yeah, exactly. Because before that, he was like, so, confirming this time, pick you up, whatever. And From I was like, Brussels. Yeah, and I was like, yes, everything is good. See you in the morning. So then at nighttime, I sent him the message, hey, by the way, we're flying into France. Um, yeah. We'll we'll figure it out. So then we had to take the train. Oh, wait, you, we're going through security? Yeah, we're no, I mean, we're going through yeah. security. I'm pissed off. I can't believe this is happening. I'm so mad. We are like, okay, well, I guess we're going to fly into but Paris. Can I be honest? I was I was really, really frustrated because of what happened. But I was more so frustrated about the people who, who messed up my passport. Yeah. But flying into Paris, I wasn't that mad about it. I mean, we also didn't. It's not like we hung out there. Either. I know. I was kind of hoping we could have if we had more time. But we didn't. The, we, we didn't. The thing is with me, I hate, I hate the the like figuring out things on the fly i mm. i hate that it's like oh now we have to figure out like what flight where are we going what train how we get there this train this i've time, never this yeah i ticket. never took the the what, what is that called what's the train the the eurostar, the eurostar yeah i that was like actually my first time taking it yeah so and we basically fly into paris nice little six hour flight it wasn't super long like six yeah. seven hour flight we get there we get and it's just paris. like okay where are the trains yeah so we had to take a train from paris we had to wait for our bags had to take a train from paris airport to the paris uh train train station station, and then at the train station we were trying to like figure out how to like get there on time 
to take a quicker train that goes directly to Brussels or Antwerp and and there's like multiple trains and you have to buy the tickets and there wasn't any tickets left. And then we ended up like trying to make this one, but we were too late and there was no tickets left, but we actually yeah. could have made it. And it's like this like annoying ass like things that you're trying to also, because we were supposed to be at this time, we're supposed to be in Belgium already, yeah. you know, and like we're wasting time traveling. Like our travel day extended so much longer by like five or six hours, you know? Yeah. The train but station, eventually... the train station. Like if we ha if we had more time, like I said earlier, because like as soon as you walk out of out of the train station, you're, you're like in the city, yeah, or like I guess somewhere. And I wanted to walk around a little bit honestly. with our bags. I didn't care. I mean, just for a little bit. Yeah. See, I can't. I can't. If I need to go somewhere, I'm not good with like. Oh yeah, we're really? here now. Let's just. I'm uncomfortable. I'm off the plane. I stink. I'm wearing nasty clothes that are like you know my airport clothes. I'm not trying to like have a cute time with my hella bags. Hmm. You know, it's like I have one shoulder bag and then I have my little trolley bag and then we have the bigger trolley bag and you want to just walk around like little tourists around Paris. <laughs> it's so ratchet. <laughs> so, anyways, yeah. we find the Euro train after. A while. Like a while while we yeah. get some food we get on the train we ride the train for about an hour and a half and you know i must say no it was, it was two, two hours. hours i feel like yeah i must say the fact that there's a train that can take you from paris to belgium or to brussels is crazy why is that crazy i mean it's crazy just because like in America, I mean, now that we're on the East Coast, I do want to experience what the train life is like to like go. We can go to like Philly by train or Washington, D.C. So we definitely need to do that. I, yeah, I really want to go to Philly. But like in Europe, taking a train and to like go like, oh, let's take a train and go to Paris for like the weekend. You know, it's such a thing. It's yeah. like a two hour drive. Yeah, you can do that one day and come back in the evening. Exactly. It's crazy. So that was like really nice to be able to do that. And eventually we arrive and then from the train station, we have to drive to the house yeah. and then we were there. So that was our travel day. Um, you know, it was what it was. It made for, it was, you know, it's a nice story to tell. It's, it's fun, I guess. <laughs> I in just retrospect. Heard, retrospect. In retrospect. <laughs> Retro. No, but I think. I just I, remember the feeling I had that I was not into it. I know um i wasn't into it too but as you know i i deal with things a little bit different than alia so i was pretty i was like i knew we were gonna be fine and we were gonna figure it out as always you know but in the moment it's alia is very expressive she will let you know like and I, you will see that that this woman is frustrated i pushed my little poor little luggage across yeah. the train station. and then you see me and i'm just kind of like more just calm and also too like i gotta give you your time too you know what it is for me no it's like if you're if you're in the the heat of the moment mm -hmm. i can't get in there and be like babe we're gonna be fine it's okay because you ain't trying to hear that yeah i'm not trying to hear that <laughs> um, so that's why i'm just kind of like <laughs> but for me it's the for me it's the fact that we waste time like i don't like wasting time that's a big thing for me honestly i've noticed in general in life it doesn't have to be a travel thing yeah in general i really that's very true. hate wasting time that is when so it true. could have been avoided yes but my thing is <laughs> if there's nothing we can do about the wasting time no, but part, there is we can f hurry up so we can get the earlier train okay so that's what i'm saying so that's why i'm so like plugged in and like anxious and stressed because i'm like i want to get there on time so we can get that one train because there was a train that was there at like 12 15 and then the next one wasn't until 2 15 yeah, yeah yeah so it was which like which one gonna, did we take already we which ended one? up taking a whole other one which worked out but we didn't know that was an option yeah so we were looking we're like if we don't make it to the 12 15 one we'll have to waste two hours for no reason <laughs> and, and that's and something I, that I cannot. And I would have been like, well, we can we can walk around a little bit. <laughs> nah, I'm not like when I'm in that mood. Yo, I don't this... care to like go have a cute little croissant. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. You want to get a cute little croissant? I man? can't let myself like just be. You Dang, know? see, this is this right is a perfect example of two different mindsets, like perfectly yeah i don't know this is crazy if you're listening to this right now which one are you 
Yeah, let me know. Let us know in the comments. If you feel like you you're about to lose two hours in Paris, are you gonna be mad? Like Alia, are you gonna be like Yoni? Well, I can go get a little sandwich, get a Under little coffee. Under the circumstances that you are wearing airport clothes i don't care about the closing part. you have luggage with you you've been on a plane you slept on a plane it's all right how would you feel about that like i'm not i don't like i can't enjoy cute shit at that time i need to settle down i'm not saying I was, shit away. i'm not saying i wanted to do some cute shit at that time i just want to walk around for an hour with the bags yes nah well so there's you- nothing i there's certain things that I don't like doing. Oh, yeah. When you see people walking around with oh big my luggages. God. When I see people walking around with luggage, there's something so cringe, cringe about, it. about it. But also like... Why? They're going somewhere. They just landed and they're going to their place. Everyone has luggage. Yeah, no. I'm talking about when you go at a coffee shop with your luggage. Like... Okay, what's the problem? They want a coffee. They need that, they need, they need that caffeine. But it's like, can't you leave your gag bag somewhere? No. I don't know what it is. And it's not even about, actually, it has nothing to do with what p- other people do. It's about me and the fact that I hate going to a place and I'm having like a whole breakfast and everything and I have my bags with me. I don't know why, to me, that's embarrassing. Why? Because it's like, w- it seems as if you're like homeless. No, it's not. When I see people do that, I understand. I'm like, they're probably having a day right now it's and like they're such hungry. A, it's such a tourist thing. So that's okay. I know it's okay. I just don't like it. <laughs> okay. It's just like uncomfortable. Okay, but it's not. Don't say it's embarrassing because I've no, done I it. No, I feel embarrassed. Oh, that's a you problem then. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't like it. I feel like it's like, damn, you couldn't leave your bag somewhere. Like you think that? I mean, obviously they couldn't. Babe. Like you couldn't coordinate your. No. You know what it is? Is because I have bad PTSD from when I went on a trip to paris by myself and then i met up with a friend there last october and i don't know why i forgot about the whole check-in time check-out time so i flew into paris again so early i got there at like 6 a.m but i couldn't check in until 4 damn so i had my bags with me for like a whole first day oh you probably hated it was so uncomfortable i couldn't do shit and i was like such a (laughs) lame-o on the side of the road with my big luggage in my airport clothes and I couldn't put my bag anywhere. So I had to go to like a little coffee shop in Paris. Everybody's cute. It's the weekend. Everybody's got their fits on and I'm just there being such a tourist. Well, well uh, which luggage was it? It was the big black one. The big one? Yeah. Because I was trying to have cute fits, you know, so I packed way too much, obviously. Oh, uh- so that trip was the worst for me that now whenever i see someone that like they go eat somewhere with the big ass luggage something about it (laughs) okay well that's that's definitely a you problem but i understand okay now okay so that so i just want to give you like final thoughts about what we learned about traveling getting prepared do all the research yeah. Even if it's like some research that you think, yeah, we're going to be fine with this passport. If you have, just double check everything. Because honestly, if we weren't flying into Belgium, because not every country got a cute little country that you can just fly into and take a train right over. Like and if this crazies? was in like, I don't know where, like Romania. Yeah. What? Where could we fly into that we can take a train directly? Bulgaria. Okay. In Europe, <laughs> in Europe, that's the beauty of the trains. It's like yeah. most countries have so many connections. Yeah, but you get what I'm saying, right? Like yeah. Paris and Antwerp is really, really close. In, yeah, I guess. but most places like, that's what I'm saying. In Europe, so many places are so close to each other because yeah. the countries are pretty, you know, small. Yeah. But, um, you know, after traveling for three weeks, I feel like we have some, some, um, learnings that i would like to share when mm. it comes to as you said like how to prepare obviously you gotta, you gotta make sure like passport all the docs are in order yeah but this trip i really wanted to make sure that we don't leave the apartment in disarray because every single time we go on this trip and and pretty much actually any trip whether it's a long trip or a short trip i always feel like i have never left feeling ready calm prepared ever so this time i was like let's get the laundry done early let's get to packing a few days early 
But and somehow, somehow it didn't work out. We were packing, like we were almost late leaving to the airport. We were a little bit late leaving to the airport. And then we were late because traffic. And then he made a mistake. And then, you know, we just told the story. Oh, yeah. But somehow, like, I don't know if you guys have what any is it? like what tips is it about and tricks humans about- that, that just want to pack at the, I think we want to do everything we want to do before. So then, like, you know what it is? I also have a hard minute. time. Like, I don't know how to pack when I'm still, like, not leaving yet. Like, how do you pack, like, a few days before? It's like, what if I, I want to wear something I packed? <laughs> you know what I mean? No, just don't wear it. And what if, like, I haven't decided what I want to bring yet? Or, like, if I'm waiting to see what the weather is going to be in all the places, I don't know what to pack. Yeah. I don't know. It's just somehow, even though I tried really hard and I, th- I thought it was, like, I'm being prepared. I'm starting off early. It still wasn't early enough because right before we were leaving, even though our flight was at nine, mm-hmm. which was really, really nice, we had like most of the day to kind of like prepare and like finish up work and stuff. Yeah. Somehow we were still running around, packing everything. Oh, the other problem was like all the airlines have different weight, like weight. Mm -hmm. uh for like your luggage that they're allowed you're allowed to have so then we were like oh shit this seems like too heavy so we started like weighing in it was like too heavy we had to move things around i just can i yeah that was that was crazy and i don't know why i always even me just personally for me myself i always overpack i had like five different pair of jeans (laughs) different colors three pair of shoes like 10 t-shirts and like you're thinking we're gonna be gone for three weeks i'm thinking every single day i need a new fit head to toe new t-shirt new pants i I'm, mean i'm not trying to wear the same shit twice but then but it's also that we were going to antwerp which is like cold and it was pretty cold at the time okay and then romania was gonna be like hot and cold like cold at night hot during the day and then spain was gonna be hot the whole time yeah so we had to pack according to like those things too. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's that's very true. But I still, basically, the whole time we were in Antwerp, I wore the same outfit: <laughs> a blue zip-up hoodie that you've probably seen. Um, I wore your black jeans. Black jeans. I brought two black jeans. I wore them like. Listen, why did you bring two? black jeans because they're they fit differently and they have different weight and and See, one is that's the problem one is like more for like when it's colder and then one it's more for when it's like hotter because then it's not as Thick. hot yeah mm, okay um, how many pairs of shoes you brought like oh how many you only wore like one pair of shoes right uh yeah pretty much like you wore your docks during the day my docks that's and then it. you wore your Berkies like at home yeah I brought, I, I think I had my like loafers. I didn't even wear the loafer once. Once? I didn't even wear them once. I don't know why I thought we were about, to, oh, maybe I wore did them. Did you in, wear them in Spain? Yeah, I did. Maybe I think. once. Yeah, yeah, I did. So anyways, what I learned, right, from this trip is that next time, I don't care where we go or for how long we go, two pair of pants. Four t-shirts. Four t-shirts. Maybe two hoodies and that's it. The rest is just underwear and socks. I don't know. It's so hard. I don't. I mean, for me, because you know what I realized Mm. that I don't need to. When I go on on these vacations and I want to like, especially like when it's going back home to see family, I don't. I don't need to put on outfits for whatever, right? Mm -hmm. If we go on vacation. Like Spain, like if you go to like a place where I just want to like relax and hang out, I don't care. I don't care about what I'm wearing. I just, I'm there to be there. Yeah, true. Like but- in Spain, all I wore, which we will, we will get into Spain stories, right? But shorts, white t-shirts, and that's it. And I can wear that every single day. I don't care. Unless it's like maybe like for a picture or so, which by the way, Alia, you took some amazing photos of me this, this summer. Um, and I don't have photos of myself. So thank you. Yeah. Yeah. You know. It's- but yeah. So for me, I'm not bringing shit next time. Socks, underwear, two jeans. And that's because you basically ended up not wearing I, a good amount of the things that you brought. I didn't. I literally wore 20% of what I brought. See. 20%. I actually wore, I would say, 90% of what I brought. You're different. <laughs> <laughs> no, like you're not different in like. 
but I'm because surprised because usually I also do the same. But I would say this trip, I actually wore almost every single thing that I brought on the trip. Well, good job. Clap it up for Alia. So, no, I'm not saying that. No, no, I know you're not saying that, but I'm just saying that's good. I didn't wear, I didn't wear all the shoes. And I would say I regretted. This is the only trip ever since I've worn Birkenstocks. My little clog Berkies that I've had for now, maybe three years. This is the first trip that I ever went on without my Birkenstocks. And it was such a bad decision. The worst decision. Because I wanted she to seeing, wear them every day. She was seeing me wearing mine. I just recently got some black leather ones, which I kind of regret getting the black leather ones, but they, it, they were all right. They no, they worked out. They worked out. Yeah. I think it's a nice look. It's but so convenient. I was just, I w- regretted not bringing them so bad. It's like the perfect combination of like a shoe. Yes. And like a slippers. A slipper. Yes, exactly. It's and like it, it looks can, nice too. It can be a full shoe where it's like your toes are not always out. It feels like your feet if you're are wearing lo- pants. Yes, and your feet are just a little bit more protected. Yeah, but then you also your heel doesn't have to go fully into a shoe because it's without a oh. heel. It's just the perfect shoe. If anybody's listening and then you're working at Birkenstocks, please, if you want to work, let us know. We can really, we can really do some good work. Yeah, and also if you are debating getting Birkenstocks, you should. Yeah, you should. You should get them. It is an investment. Yes. But it's totally worth it because you will have that shit for three years. I have one more travel tip. Actually, no, two more. Real quick. One is I obviously, you know how I am. Do, and I think people do this mostly, but if you really want to have a good experience wherever you travel to, do your research. Give yourself some time. Do your research for like every single place you're going. And when I do my research, I go like 360, right? I go on Instagram. I look at people and what they talk about when it comes to food activities places to go then i check those places on google like whatever comes out like articles especially when it comes to food like i look at where people eat on instagram Mm -hmm. and then i also look if any of those places are repeated on any articles from like bon appetit or like cn traveler or whatever and then after that i also go on google maps and i look at the reviews i look at what people say and then i choose the places that we go and then i also make the reservation i choose like okay these are going to be the spots and i make the reservation in advance especially if there's like a specific place that i really want us to go to and my last travel tip is actually of this app and this is not sponsored in any way but i would say how would you say you felt about your jet lag this trip jet lag Mm -hmm. I don't know why for some reason that's not really something I think about. I just no, kind of, like, I go to sleep, I wake up when I wake, like I don't, I feel how I feel. When I don't, we went to Antwerp and we got there, the yeah. first few days, yeah. did you feel super jet lagged? Not really. Last year was worse. Last year was really bad. This year I kind of just fell right into the... And right then when we the, came back here, coming back here is a little bit easier. I feel like going there is harder. Yeah. But How basically, I have, I feel like th- my jet lag was non existent really. Mm-hmm. Um, and I would say that this app that I got called Time Shifter or Time Shift or something like that, you basically put in all of your flight information. Mm-hmm. And then we had several flights and it creates a plan for you. And it basically tells you during your travel days and two days leading up to that. It tells you like when you should sleep and when you should not sleep and when you should drink coffee and stop drinking coffee and when you should expose yourself to light so that you start to transition your circadian rhythm into the place that you're going to. And I would say like on our flight over, it said to like only sleep for like two hours at the beginning of the flight and then stay up. Everybody in the plane was sleeping the whole flight. I stayed awake. Because I knew that based on the time shifter thing, that that's what they recommend. Yeah. And it worked out. And then coming back here, also same thing. They said, like, take a nap here, but then stay up for the rest of it. Expose yourself to light. Drink coffee. Don't drink coffee. I followed all that and I was good. So that's also something to look into. Because jet lag can really, like, mess up the first few days of traveling. 
<laughs> yeah, and you want to like be there. Yeah. You know? It really messed us up last year. I remember I was asleep for half of the day. Yeah. Like, and it hits you. Like at 4 p.m. You're just like, damn, I can't like stay up. <laughs> so I think yeah. we're going to keep this episode to the like travel day. Travel tip, travel experience and what happened. Because yes. I feel like that that on its own was 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 juicy enough let us know what you think if this ever happened to you too and then also what kind of person are you are you like alia or are you more like yoni if that's like for every episode whose side are you no on? i feel like i would be, that would be it would be very interesting to see yeah because yeah. i feel like there's i feel like there's, most people are like you anyways though no i don't know anyways um and i guess on the next episodes we're gonna get into yes next next wednesday's episode always so this this wednesday yeah so this wednesday this wednesday episode we're gonna talk about antwerp and romania provica how it was catching up with family catching up with friends reconnecting also meeting each other's families yes. all that good stuff yeah not for the first not time not for the we're, first time yeah right? uh yeah and that's it and then the week after that is gonna be spain and mallorca so i'm excited and then we'll be done with talking about our travels <laughs> yeah okay well hope you enjoyed today's episode um glad to be back glad to see you guys again glad to be back good energy today by the way too. yeah 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 you too yeah thanks <laughs> i feel like this was supposed to be the answer pro romania uh episode but the 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 travel story was just was just too good we should just leave it at that yeah honestly yeah Okay, uh, see you guys in a few days, I guess. Yeah, see you guys in, in, in a couple of days on Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Talk later. A, a few is always more than two. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Bye. All right, bye, guys. See you later. Love you. <laughs> That's what Ali says. Love you. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs>